Hello beautiful people, it's your girl Davika and welcome to my channel. It's been a while, it's been a good while since I've posted a video and I thought that my first video back in a while should be a chit chat style video. So here we are, I have my cup of coffee here and my cute little flamingo mug my aunt got me for my birthday I think a couple of years ago now. And um, yeah, so grab a cup of coffee or whatever you like to drink and sit on the couch, lay down on your bed and join me for this chit chat time. <laughs> okay, so actually real talk, chit chat videos are one of my favorite kinds of videos to watch on YouTube. I think um, I like them because you kind of get to see where the speaker's mind's at, their thoughts about different topics. I think it's cool when they take like questions from their audience um, or they speak about things that their audience asks about. So I think I may start doing that, like making chit chats a regular thing each month and maybe just reaching out on my social media accounts and seeing what you guys would like to hear me talk about and of course because this is a chit chat style video that means i would like some engagement from you guys you know whatever thoughts come up in your mind as you're watching this or listening to this put them in the comments below share your thoughts on the topics um so yeah without further ado let's take a sip of coffee and get started okay so Truthfully, I don't have anything solid planned for this chit chat. <laughs> um, I have thought about what I wanted to talk about and a few things have come and gone across my mind and things like that um, that I've been wanting to share and I think I've settled on just talking about... Hmm... What would be an exact term for this topic? Um, let's call it... Let's talk about like being your whole self because that's like, um, like a realization that I came to lately in, in my life. Um, I know for me and I think a lot of people out there can relate to this. I've always been, I think, more of a people pleaser. Like there are times when I definitely do stand up for myself, but um, I can be loyal to a fold. I can be a people pleaser. And I have throughout my life, like looking back, found times where I've adjusted myself to meet what I think the expectations of other people are for me in certain situations. Um, and I just think in, in general from young, I've always just been quiet and soft-spoken and not too good at sticking up for myself or saying no all the time. That's not really a good trait to have, you guys. Um, boundaries are important. And so I think that over time, that has translated into me not really being or operating as a whole person and or allowing myself that space and truthfully like I'm not really sure where that came from in life I mean I guess I kind of have an idea and if I sat down and thought about it more deeply I would figure it out but you know, thankfully, I do have people in my life who make the space for me to be fully myself. But for some reason, I just haven't given myself that same courtesy. And I give that courtesy to other people in my life to be fully who they are around me and with me. But I just don't extend the same courtesy um, to myself in that way that I extend to others. I have a hard time validating my own feelings. I may have a feeling about something and instead of acknowledging that feeling, I would tend to rationalize it or like think about it and maybe even be dismissive of it because I feel like it's an irrational feeling. And obviously that's 
not a healthy way to operate in life it's really not so comment below if, if you're like that like or if you've experienced that in life and what you've done to to get over that and I just I mean these are things about myself that I've been aware of for a really long time and I've tried at points in my life to just you know change those things but just truthfully like this year 2021 I've been doing a lot a lot of reflecting on my life a lot of reflecting on myself um, just my habits my practices um, identifying things that need to change sorry if you hear a banging actually it's my bedroom door I have my window open it's a really windy day and normally when it's a windy day um, if I have my door closed it just kind of does the banging and the jittering thing from all the suction because I think the window and the hallway is open as well um, but I'm not closing my window because we need that fresh air <laughs> so I'll just apologize for the banging um, but yeah, like I said, I've been doing a lot of reflecting on myself this past year. Things that, um, like habits that I have that I want to change that are not productive and not healthy. Um, I've been working on getting better at um, just being more self-aware. Um, but also acting on that self-awareness. I think it's one thing to say, oh, well, I have this trait or I have that trait. But then it's a whole nother thing to say, okay, I don't like this aspect of myself and I know this is a part of me, I know where it stems from, so let's do what I gotta do to move past it. Um, so that's, that's kind of where I'm at in life, like just diving deeper into doing the work. Um, you know, it's no secret, I talked about it, I actually, um, Previously, I used to have other videos on this channel when I originally started posting on this like years ago, but I've deleted those videos. Um, but I have talked about this publicly, you know, publicly in private conversations. I do have a history of depression and anxiety. It's very much situational though, so it's not like a clinical depression. It was based on some things that I had went through in my late teens and early 20s, and that just like completely rocked my world. And between like about this time last year and leading up until now i just was in this space where i was just sick of it i was sick of cycling through um depression you know every once or twice a year i was sick of having such severe anxiety and i was starting to recognize the hold that those things had on my life um i was existing in self-sabotage because <clears throat> of my anxiety i was having a hard time um like really moving i had so many dreams and goals and like things that i wanted to do in life but i was having a hard time seeing things that i wanted to do to fruition because i would always get to a certain point where i was so close to seeing it through and then my anxiety would surge up and my depression would surge up and i would think about like you know a major fail i had in the past which is where my depression and anxiety had stemmed from and block out all the times that i have had successes in life which was actually more often than not and i would have this um fear of whatever i was working on failing but i also had a fear of it succeeding because i felt like if it did succeed then that would add more pressure to my life but that's a whole nother story for another day but all of that to say you know i was experiencing these things for like years i i just went 33 um about a month ago on september 4th so pretty much like all of my adult life i have been dealing with this and i remember last year i said i was tired of sick and tired of feeling like i had to push push and push to accomplish something because here i am like working on things that i want to work on but carrying the weight of my depression and anxiety 
and um so everything everything that i did and it's interesting too because i think a lot of people that i would talk to wouldn't really see this like looking at me or just engaging with me on a base level um but yeah it was just like every little thing i did i felt like i had to push like a ton of bricks just to take one or two steps in the right direction and that was exhausting and that alone makes you not even want to go for anything because that process was just so exhausting and I remember saying I'm tired of feeling like I have to push through everything and I want to just be able to glide through things. I want to be able to say this is my goal, this is what I'm going to do to get there and be able to take those steps without feeling like every moment is just taxing to do that. Like I want to be able to do those just you know just smoothly reach my goals and I know like nothing's perfect but I think you kind of get the gist of what I'm saying about that for anyone out there that does you know suffer with depression or anxiety you know that it's when you're going through those periods of depression anxiety it just makes doing any little task that much more difficult and I was tired of that just sick and tired of that and so fast forward to this year I think I kind of went like slightly off topic but it's still related but fast forward to this year I think I'm in a much better place if that um I was doing some programs with Ajane um who I found through Instagram and she does like um Christian coaching programs, Christian based like trauma therapy um, or trauma coaching and things like that to help you like, you know, get through these kinds of situations. Um, I don't know if I'm explaining that well, but I'll put her um, website in the description box below so you can check that out. And going through those programs was a real transformative experience for me. I will definitely say um, that I needed that. Like I, I've grown up in church and I definitely, throughout my adulthood, was one of those cliche church kids that, you know, straight away and went and did whatever they wanted to do in life and blah, blah, this and slapped off on going to church and, you know, didn't have a consistent relationship with God. Um, and going through my depression and anxiety, I definitely... You know, you have people that tell you, that tell you, or you hear when you're in that environment even, just, you know, give your problems to God. And truthfully, I did not know what that meant. I did not know what that looked like. How do I give my problems to God? Like, you know? <laughs> and I think part of that is um, wanting to have control over your life. And if you think about it, if you go through severe anxiety, you're going through that anxiety because you don't have... Um, you recognize that there are things that you don't have control over and it freaks you out. It really freaks you out. And so, of course, I'm lack of my issues. Like, what? Me? How? <laughs> I think a lot of us struggle with that, even in a non-religious context, you know, context. I've had people just say, just let go just release it and I'm just in my head I'm like that that that, that does not make sense that does not make any sense to me <laughs> so and I've always from young I've had a hard time just like letting go of issues which is again why I was going through depression and anxiety based on some of the experiences that I had early on in my adult years um, but yeah, like through going through her programs and all of that, like I realized like I can just let go of these issues and I made that decision for myself. Now I'm going to put a disclaimer here because some people, you know, like I said, my de depression is not, was not clinical. It was just purely based on circumstances that I have been through. 
And I understand that people with clinical depression go through a completely different experience. Um, sometimes, you know, they don't even need a trigger to go through a cycle of depression. You know, so definitely get the help that you need. Get the help that you need. That's what I'm getting at. Um, but I did realize like, yo, I could just really just let this go. And so one day I got up out of bed one morning and I went to my mom and I said, you know what? I'm over it. I'm done. I'm not dealing with depression anymore. I'm not dealing with anxiety anymore. I'm letting it go. And that was probably like a few months ago. And, you know, I, I'm claiming it. I'm not depressed anymore. I don't have anxiety anymore. I'm just claiming it. And I've been living it as well. So since then, there have been situations that have come up that would normally cycle me into a spiral of depression or heavy anxiety and I am happy to say that that has not been the case this time around so you know we let that go and in doing that I realized that I was capable of so much more than I was accepting that I was capable of all this time but I I can handle things if my projects become successful the extra responsibilities or pressure or whatever you want to call it that comes that like I can handle those things and so I guess like going back to the original scope I mean it's all related but going back to the original scope of um, just operating myself as a whole person there are things that I've set out to do to live that way so I can get in that in that habit. One of those things is um, that I've decided to do things that make me feel confident because I can tell like you know with, with the things that I've experienced like my confidence was just not a hundred percent there. And again, it's something that I think people who know me from the outside wouldn't um, really expect me to say. So that's like one of my commitments to myself is to just get back into the habit of doing things um, that are going to help to increase my confidence. So for instance, earlier this, I think it was like, still, I think it was still in the springtime. I purchased a pair of roller skates and I learned how to roller skate. I did use the roller blade. I mean, well, you would know this if you watch my channel, you see my videos, if you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, you've seen, or TikTok, you've seen, you know, my skate videos. And the fun thing about that is, so I had roller blades when I was a kid. And when I was in college, away in school, there was a couple of times that the school had um, organized like group trips to, to the skating rink. Um, and I've attended and tried roller, roller skating and um, I just like could not get it down so I was like nah I'm never doing this again I thought like if I ever get wheels on shoes I'll just go back to roller blades but I actually purchased roller skates and I picked it up so fast way faster than I thought I ever would pick it up and you know like I'm not the bomb.com I'm still new at it <laughs> You know, I can't do any like real fancy tricks, but just the fact that I picked it up so fast, that helped to improve my confidence. And so like as I just skate and I move and I flow, it helps me to feel good about myself. And I think that's important. And I don't know, maybe I should insert like some tips here. I think that would be a tip if you're going through the same thing, if you're a person who, um, you know, maybe you're not so confident in yourself, Everybody's good at something. We some of us haven't figured out what that is yet, but everybody's good at something. Go find out what it is and go do it, you know? Another thing that helps is thinking about the successes that you you have had and shout out to which is kind of why shout out to um terry too cool and jackie at good day bermuda because this this um what was it 
Friday or there's Thursday Thursday it was last week Thursday um, on their show this was one of the topics they they kind of it was two different topics um, they talked about and like this was kind of like um what kind of got me thinking to do like this chit chat style video along the lines of what I'm talking about and I believe they had asked um oh, oh my gosh I can't remember the exact question now I think it was something about um or what do you do when you're trying something new or like getting out of your comfort zone how do you approach it? Something it was something along those lines. It's not the exact question, but I'll put the link to the episode in the description box so you can check it out. I absolutely loved it. Was two topics that day, and I loved both of them. The conversation is so engaging. I love the show. I listen to it every morning <laughs> that I can. Um, but yeah, so one of the things my comment was that I have put was when I start to doubt myself, I think about the past successes that I do have and that helps to pick me up. So I mentioned earlier, like my depression anxiety was kind of fueled by um, one kind of big feel that I had in life. But if I really sat down and think about it, I've had more successes in my life since then. And, you know, there's the fact that I didn't let that one major fail keep me from doing anything. Although I talked about, you know, having um, feeling like things were a push in life after that but I still you know I moved forward with my life so like I have a lot to be grateful for a lot that I have accomplished a lot of success in my life and so like I said earlier, a lot of times we get in these depressive or anxiety written episodes because we're thinking only about the bad things that have happened in our life, only about the failures that have happened in our life and not about the things that did go great. And so that would be my tip number two to becoming, you know, more of a whole person, working on yourself, growing in life. It would be focus on the times that you have been successful to remind yourself that you are capable of doing it <laughs> and you've done it before and that means that you absolutely will do it again that you will be successful at something again you have to just give yourself the chance my last point would be we'll make it the last point would be to oh my gosh go to therapy go to therapy go to therapy <laughs> I tell everybody that I think it's important because I've come to all of these realizations and work I've done my own self work like I said even more recently in my life I've let things go um, so you know certain things are no longer plaguing my mind anymore but um, sometimes you still kind of live with the effects because you've been living in, in that, that state of being for so long that you do need some like guided help to just get back to being a better functioning person. And so therapy helps with that. And I honestly, I tell people, I loved my experience of therapy so much that I tell people, even if you don't think you need it, just go. Last year was my first experience working with a therapist and the time that I worked with this with this therapist was just mind-blowing like she was able to help me to make connections and things like that that probably naturally on my own would have taken me so much time to 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 connect the dots you guys i just paused the video <laughs> because my nose was running and i came back and i forgot my train of thought <laughs> totally forgot my train of thought um so maybe i should just wrap it up here <laughs> we're at what is it the 34 minute mark it was 35 minute mark and 
yeah, maybe that's my sign to wrap things up. But just to go over again, the point that I, the points that I just discussed was, um, you know, just improving yourself, improving your life, like really doing the work to let go of your issues and grow beyond that to be the person that you're meant to be. Like, I'm just in this place in my life where I'm just wanting to be even more intentional about my growth. I just don't want to learn how to move through the funk. I want to be out of the funk completely. I want to be able to do like just more deeper work on myself and becoming that girl, the woman that I want to be. I should say that woman, <laughs> the woman who I want to be, not just, you know, a pairing to be that person, but actually being that person from the inside out. We see that the trend of like the that girl trend, which I absolutely love. And you see, um, if you've ever seen videos about this on like YouTube or Instagram or TikTok, you know, people are like dressing, you know, in a, in a way that they want to dress, um, eating healthier, taking care of themselves, exercising, having a morning and night routine and things like that. And those things are great. And I would encourage you to do that. But another dimension to being that girl is to do the internal work because all of that stuff is just surface stuff that people see on the outside. But if you really want to transform your life, you have to do the internal work. You have to do the work on your mindset to grow beyond the issues. You have to make a conscious choice to let go of whatever your issues are. You have to outline what action steps you're going to take to grow and then you have to be responsible for yourself to take those and that's really is what that really is what is going to turn you into that girl you know and like i think once you really have your mind in a better place then all those other things are followed because when your mind is in a good place then you're gonna feel good and you're gonna say well i want my appearance to match how i feel and so maybe you'll start dressing better or, or neater or, or cleaner or tidier you know maybe you'll take care of your space better maybe you'll feed your body or fuel your body in a more healthier way maybe you'll get up and move maybe you'll make you know morning and night routines to set aside um you know times to engage in more self-care and getting more rest and things like that because your mind is, is in a better place and that's where it all begins and that is the biggest takeaway out of my little three tips earlier that is the biggest takeaway that i want you to get from this chit chat all right so we're at the 40 minute mark now all right we're gonna wrap it up um i'm probably gonna edit this down a little bit as well so it's not gonna be 40 minutes when you watch it but if you like this chit chat give me a thumbs up subscribe comment below all of that jazz um let me know your thoughts on this topic like have you ever experienced depression and anxiety if, if you're willing to share that what are things that you are doing in your life to overcome that and who is the person you want to be that's what i like to know like what when you look at yourself in the mirror and you think to yourself this is the ideal version of me. What does that person look like to you? What does the ideal version of yourself look like to you? How does she dress? What does she eat? What's her career? You know, what are her hobbies? What does she enjoy doing? And yeah, share that with me. Thank you for joining me. I'm just gonna go and finish this coffee, edit this video, and get on with my day. This video is late going up, but I will be back to posting regularly on my channel. So after today, you can catch regular uploads of videos every Monday morning at 10 a.m. And I look forward to seeing you, well, seeing you. <laughs> or engaging with you, I should say, in my next video. Bye.